Hey everybody, Wanna Wisdom here, back for part 131 of our Skyliners Giant Spline playthrough. Part 130 was a nightmare, dropped a crud ton of frames, basically had to start and stop about eight times. Uh, my apologies on getting that one edited. If you're watching this one because of the I-Beam Supreme Path and you wonder about Robot Rocketeer, uh, my advice is skip towards the back end of the video. Uh, it'll save you some time. That's it, hopefully we don't have that issue here, but this is Legendary Bouncer. We took Bouncer in Part 130 down Robot Rocketeer. We're going to take Legendary Bouncer down I-Beam Supreme. I did run through a Heroic. Uh, it's hard to say. It looked to me like the I-Beam, you know, with just the base two upgrades you get at the beginning. Uh, I want to say it did 20 damage. I think one time I saw 30, uh, but it seemed to be 20 almost every time. The rockets, uh, really hard for me to gauge. I saw like 30, 32, 34, 45. Uh, not quite sure what was up there. Uh, we're also starting to drop frames here, which is not good. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to continue on. I uh, wanted to get that baseline on the I-Beam Supreme stuff just so we can kind of use it to compare here. And uh, that's what we're basically going to do is come in. Again, this is Legendary Bouncer. You need 8,520 essentially to upgrade a new lander or giant. You know, they don't have a wild wow power ability to buy both paths. But uh, it begins with the bouncing bullets, very effective. And then the rocket, which we're not really going to address here. Uh, we're also not going to read through all of his upgrades. You can see that in part 130, maybe. I don't know how it's going to edit. But you'll get the gist of it here and at the back end of that video. So. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to begin our upgrades. His first upgrade uh, is the I beam. Press Z to fire concentrated laser I beams. Cost is 300. Alright, so, uh, that's what it looks like. Note how it's just red. Uh, when we upgrade it again, it'll kind of get a blue tinge to it. The second upgrade is called the Targeting Computer. Hold B to bring up a target and control where rockets land. Cost is 420. Uh, this is kind of neat. I could see it being effective. I tried to use it a little bit in that heroic challenge just to get a feel for it. So basically, if you just hold B, you can kind of situate where you want it. You placed it right there in the crease between the cushions, I guess. Uh, next upgrade, his third, is called Machine Finger Guns, which is kind of confusing name when you see what we're going to do, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, cost is 540. Hold A to repeatedly fire finger guns at an accelerated rate. In all honesty, I'm not a huge fan of this one, just for the simple fact I like being able to just rapid tap A and move around a little more freely. When you hold A down, he rotates that slow. However, if you rapid tap A, you can get off essentially the same, if not more, shots and move a little easier. So, Kind of pick your poison on that one. Uh, still nice to have, particularly if like you're say on a bridge or something where you don't have to rotate, you can just hold A down and, you know, give your thumb a rest. Uh, his last and final upgrade uh, will be the cooler I-beam. Increases the damage of the I-beam and reduces overheating. It's almost like a, you know, mist or a water stream placed in like you'd see, you know, drill press or machining or something. Alright, now right here, if you're just upgrading Bouncer, your Legendary Bouncer, you're panicking because you don't know what you want to do because you haven't played with the upgrades, press B. Uh, you'll get asked this question next time you upgrade, in which case you'll know which path you want to take. Uh, if you do know, go ahead and select it. That'll save you a cutscene. However, uh, if you're not sure and you select one of these, you are locked into it. Your only way to get past that is to reset the character. Uh, Robot Rocketeer, fire off more rockets for greater damage. That's what we did with Bouncer in Part 130. We're going to take Legendary Bouncer down I-Beam Supreme. Supercharge I-Beams for a variety of effects. Uh, this will be interesting. That said, the last you know, base upgrade. Now when we do the I-beam, note that there's kind of like that blue in there. It lets him 
you know, essentially run it a little longer and not overheat as quick. Um, that said, this is where the meat of the video is. Uh, ironically, we're already to it at like the five minute mark. I'm so concerned about dropping frames. Uh, <laughs> this is really, to me, if I just had one bouncer, uh, obviously I would have played these paths and kind of seen, but uh, to me, his strong suit is the machine finger gun. If you know we got the machine finger guns in the base upgrades, it's what lets us hold A down. However, in this path for the I-Beam Supreme, we get what they call the quote-unquote super machine finger guns. Uh, cost is 1020. The rate of fire for finger guns increases, which again, to me, even box stock, it was just fine. The big thing here is they do more damage too. Uh, the finger gun sadly only dealt like seven damage from bouncer. However, uh, you could fire off so many it kind of covered for the weakness of the low damage. Now, any more damage past that, I mean, even if this just takes it to 14 or 20, it's going to be a big deal. And uh, then you get increased speed too, so. This to me alone is really kind of worth taking this path if you're really sure. Uh, plus, based on the I beam, just doing 20 to 30 box stock from the base upgrades, uh, it should be interesting. Uh, you can kind of see the little uh, turrets they put on there. Uh, almost like a Tommy gun or something. Just got the rounds ready to go. Oh, yeah, that's just me rapid tapping. Uh, if I were to hold down A. Pretty nice. Plus, I think they're gonna do at least double the damage. So, uh, next thing we'll do come in the second upgrade down the high beam supreme is the professionally cool I beam. I beam does even more damage perk, yet overheat slower. Another perk. Uh, cost is 1320. That's really like the only I beam upgrade in this grouping, but uh, we'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> cost 1320. I'm on a roll. Let's just take a quick look at it here. Oh yeah, now it looks wicked. Uh, you've kind of lost that blue tinge, but uh, here in a little bit when I get him out on the deck, we'll actually see how long we can hold it. The final upgrade down I-Beam Supreme, kind of a little off-the-wall type deal, Laser Mines. While holding Z, which is going to be your I-Beam, press A to drop Laser Mines. Cost 1800 I don't know how effective this is, but it's going to be pretty sweet regardless. Uh, I'll try to do one in here, I don't know. So we're holding Z for the I-Beam. Oh, wow. I'm assuming we've got two... Oh, and they stay going. Uh, that is a nice, nice perk. I'm wondering, like, if an enemy were to run into them, if they don't just, like, blow or something, in which case they're going to be incredibly awesome. Uh, plus, they're going to do damage while the enemy approaches, so uh, we'll have to see. Lastly, uh, which I realized a little bit ago, I forgot to see how much damage this did. Uh, that said, this isn't dropping a ton of frames. I may get to take you in and do a heroic just so we can kind of see what damage we generate with this stuff. Uh, fists of Destruction, while holding A, press B to fire off rocket-powered homing fists. Soul Gem can be found in the Secret Vault of Secrets. Cost is 2400 We'll pick it up. He'll have 117 left to do nothing and uh, let's just get out of here. Uh, here's a good look at Bouncer now. Again, the machine fin super machine finger guns. Uh, that's me rapid tapping. Uh, very impressive. This is me holding it down. Uh, it rotates. Seems a little quicker with the super machine finger guns, but again, what I prefer personally is just rapid tapping and kind of rotating. I don't have any problem at all with that. Uh, didn't really upgrade much on the rockets. We just have the base stuff, so you can hold down, you know, the B button. There, you know, that actually looks a lot like the Atomic Cloud, <laughs> even though we didn't take that path. Uh, the I beam is the main thing we want to showcase here. Uh, let's just start now. Yeah. Burnout. 
Okay, I counted roughly 20 seconds there. I may or may not be scientifically accurate, but uh, I think he said burnout maybe like after the 15 second mark. Um, seeing how box stock with just the base upgrades, that did 20, maybe 30 at times, but generally 20 in that heroic challenge test I did. Uh, that looks like it's going to do significant damage. Uh, the other thing we can do is hold Z and press A. We've got two, three. So you can have three of these going at once and they all rotate uh, at their own speed and then the question is will they detonate when an enemy runs into them. If they do that it's going to be very nice. Uh, lastly, how do you do the soul gym? Is it? Yeah, it's hold A and press B. Looks really cool with the gold fist coming at you. Uh, we've got plenty of time here, and we haven't really dropped now a ton of frames yet. Chaos, so. are you ready to really test Cross your fingers. Uh, if this drops frames, I'll just end it here. There won't really one. be any proper ending, but you know, hopefully, it's not going to be an issue. Let's just do the uh, Where Art Thou Painting Spirals plus 5 critical hit. Not necessarily trying to finish this, I just want to evaluate the damage we can Six get. So. Three, two, I think we'll make it though, it's, it's not too hard. Alright, let's try this first. Uh, I thought those guys would move. No? Yeah, they do. Eight? That's a disappointment. Box stock, that does seven, so now it does eight. I guess maybe if it bounces it'll do more. Okay, there's who I want to suck it. 40. That's not quite what I expected. I was hoping maybe 60. I mean, 40 significant damage. I don't know how he didn't get that key. <laughs> we walked right past it. Alright, what we want to check now. I think these guys are all deadbeats. Painting destroyed. We'll probably use these spiders. No, let's do these guys. Whoops, my bad. Fifteen, we didn't get a good reading there because I guess I'm taking some Fifty? Did I just see a fifty? Uh I believe I did. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's try this again. Dead gun. I'm not wanting to do that, I want to hit the enemy. 30. Yeah, so 30 to 50 on that, it's looking like. Uh, pretty nice. Painting destroyed. No, no drop frames now. Let's just take these guys out. This is looking like 30-ish. I don't know how we're not dropping from. I mean, this is sounds horrible, but it only shows 18. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll see what happens. I think we can take this to that locked area. Kind of disappointed in the super machine finger guns only doing eight. So 30, 45, I've seen a 50. Uh, not horrible. Let's uh, try the fist punch again. I'm gonna come all the way over here. That's a 40 again, so we are pretty solid on that. And there we go. That sounded awful, and it my audio commentary we're at 1440 the recording nice is 1442 I don't know how it didn't drop frames but it apparently didn't <laughs> uh, we'll uh, back out of there so essentially uh, the soul gym seems to deal 40 the super machine finger guns that I thought it would take it at least from like 7 to 14 uh, it did not. 
but uh, still a very effective and then the I-beam uh, basically went from 20 you know as is with the base upgrades to 30 maybe 50 kind of one of those toss around deals it's hard to evaluate there uh, I'll try to get solid numbers maybe playing around with some trolls or maybe like a uh, little battle up there you know, with the, I think of his name now Not the troll guy enough. Brock there we go but uh, overall I mean both paths, I mean, they're not super, super great, but I mean, I feel like they're going to be pretty solid, either one of them. Uh, just to kind of recap, you know, we've got the shoulder rockets that are laser guided right there, the I beam, the cooler I beam, machine finger guns, then down I beam supreme. We got super machine finger guns that kind of change the look there. Uh, Kind of sad about the damage. It may be a deal if you get like repeat hits on an enemy, it bumps it up there or something. Uh, professionally cool I beam, we get about 20 seconds out of it. So I mean, say we're going up against an enemy that takes a ton of hits or damage to beat, uh, that's where it'll really pay off. And then the laser mines didn't really get to showcase those there. It's something I'll play around with. I don't want to try and do something and lose frames now. But. Uh, Fist of Destruction, I feel confident telling you it'll do 40 damage. Kind of cool, easy to execute as well. But uh, that is that. That's Legendary Bouncer down I Beam Supreme. Uh, seems like it'll be a pretty good path. I can't say right now if it's going to be better than Robot Rocketeer. If the Super Machine Finger Duns, Guns would have taken it up to like say 20-25 damage I'd say yes take I-Beam Supreme uh, as is with it at 8 I mean that's like one more than box stock and I mean completely box stock uh, you know it's hard to say but uh, I think really it comes down I mean if you're someone that prefers the rockets or thinks you know that path would be more fun uh, I can't tell you a reason not to take it uh, similarly if you're a fan of the I beam I can't tell you not to take this one so I'll really have to play around with it you know in gameplay kinda see what I like better but uh, really I think it's gonna come down to personal preference on this one I don't see one being heads and shoulders above the other uh, well, you know, we'll kind of take it as it is and go from there. So, uh, luckily, somehow this one didn't drop frames. It sounded horrible. <laughs> I was in that heroic challenge, but everything still matches up. I've got like my two second lead time. So, uh, questions, comments you can ask here on YouTube for a quicker response. I suggest you use the blog, one of wisdom.blogspot.com. You can also vote in the uh, upgrade path polls, castaways versus new landers, all kinds of stuff. Put all the news breaks there. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. It is 3.50 in the morning. Uh, due to the issues of recording bouncers, uh, I think I'm going to just go ahead and postpone uh, thump back and eyebrow until the next recording session, which I hopefully won't have catastrophic frame drops in. And uh, we'll take it from there. But uh, overall, I mean... Uh, both these paths look solid. Like I said, one doesn't stand out better to me immediately. Similarly, uh, neither one of them seems horrible. So, probably going to come down to personal preference, whatever you feel suits your play style. And, uh, you know, as I use it in nightmare mode, I'll probably get a better feel. I can probably make a determination. I'll make a blog post on all that later on when it's happened. But for the time being, both paths seem pretty neat. I think they're going to be a lot of fun once you kind of get, you know, the hang of them. So, uh, looking forward to seeing what he does in, you know, story mode type settings with it. But, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. This is part 131. Again, part 130. Catastrophic frame loss. Worst I've had with Giants or even uh, Spiral's Adventure. It was horrible. I'm going to try to piece that one together for you. Uh, Ninjini's went smooth. Hopefully when we get Scarlet Ninjini in, I'll take her down the uh, sword of might that'll be part 129 and I guess uh, part 132 uh, we're probably gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade eyebrow 133 will be thump back uh, small chance I could wind up with another one or of those uh, so we could see both paths on them uh, 
we'll just wait and see kind of depends on what sidekicks are available at GameStop but uh, nonetheless I'm gonna quit rambling I need to get some sleep hopefully you're in bed and uh, if you're recording uh, video game playthrough or walkthrough hopefully you didn't drop a thousand frames in a minute uh, like I did but uh, if so I feel for you uh, if not congratulations but like I said bouncer gonna be one of those ones we're gonna have to actually see what he does in the game uh, story mode battle mode etc to kind of get a feel for which path is actually the better one but right now they both look pretty fun and that's the main thing we'll take it from there and see what happens but again thanks for watching and uh, we will catch you back for more upgrades <laughs>